What's going on guys? It's your boy Terabyte Reacts here and I am back with the review. I'm gonna be posting you watching this video. I'm posting this separately from the last um five episodes um that I did as a super reaction for Death Note to end the series. Um so I'm doing it separately. So you guys are on that video right now of my breakdown i don't know how long this is going to be but i'm going to be talking for a minute um so sit back relax because your boy is about to get into some stuff so um as i like to do um on my reviews after you know seasons or whatever completing an anime series or whatever i like to do breakdown i also like to talk about the technical aspects first and then i'll talk about the story Okay, do things a little bit different here. There's not going to be any flashy things on the screen while I do this to entertain you. You're just going to have to entertain yourself with the sound of my voice, okay? So, let's talk about this, man. Um, technical aspects. Three things I talk about in technical aspects is um, I like to talk about the, um, the sound, sound design, um, sound design, voice acting, and also cinematography if you want to call it that the, the, the animation if you want to call it that you know what i'm saying cinematography slash animation whatever how you want to call it so um let's talk about the sound like i like to address like the openings and stuff like that the first opening was was really good and ending was really good you may not have seen them in my reaction but i do listen to this stuff the second one going into the to, to the second part of the anime the the second opening was absolute trash i hated it because it i i'm not a death metal guy like i just i don't like that stuff it's like it makes no sense to me you get what i'm saying so i didn't like it it fit it fits you get what i'm saying it fits but it wasn't my cup of tea as i said it fits what they were trying to portray you know what i'm saying as in who lied is the death metal you know what i'm saying like just screaming on top of your lungs you know what i'm saying so i get it you know what i mean so sound design during episodes and stuff awesome there was this there was this great theme music um that that went along with it i would you know as in you know what i'm saying as an ost in the anime that was really good dun, 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 dun. yeah i like that one um it, you know it's a great way to build they used it to build um tension suspense you know what i'm saying so um so it was it was really good it was well thought out when they were creating that ost it's really cool so um there's a couple more in there too that i would have to i don't want to put any of that stuff in my video because i know you guys are probably going to say why don't i do it more flashy and stuff the reason why i don't want to do that is because i don't want my channel to get any copyright stuff and people claiming stuff on my videos because nowadays you can't even put any music out there. People are going into your YouTube channels and looking at your videos and claiming 10 second clips, five second clips, two seconds even. I've heard people complain about two seconds of the, of, of the music they're claiming and they're claiming your video. It's ridiculous. So I'd rather do my reviews with absolutely no music. So you're just going to have to enjoy it. If you don't want to watch it, that's fine. It's not a must that you watch you know the reviews that people do or i do it's just it's just how it is now this is how we have to do things when it comes on to reacting and you know what i'm saying reviewing stuff we just gotta give our opinion just like this that's it <laughs> you know what i mean um so we can't have any entertaining music playing in the background unless it's non-copyright stuff i might just add some of that here and there so we'll see how how it goes i might do that um add some of my own personal stuff that i've that i've that i've made because i do make um certain music and stuff and compose music too so when i have time it's something i used to do way back in the day and i do have some of that stuff saved so maybe i'll do that but um when it comes down to um the the voice acting oh my god it's the strongest part of this anime it's 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 the strongest part part bar none 
um, of this anime. There was no fighting, so there's no big thing to talk about when it comes on to animation. It's basically basic movement. So, um, the gunplay, the movement was good when you get those action scenes and stuff like that. Car chases and stuff it was very fluid. It was very nice. It's Madhouse. What do you expect? You know what I'm saying? And it's very few few of them so it was very easy for them to do that and now you know it's not two three four episodes in a row you're animating fights so it's it was pretty cool to see so the voice acting as i was saying strongest part of this anime by far bar none there's no need for 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 me to think of anything else when it comes on to the voice acting i think it's the strongest area of this anime these actors had to deliver they had to dig down deep in their psyche to bring these these characters to life you know what i'm saying from the manga so um i think they nailed it in every scene especially the the last two episodes 36 and 37 they really went in their bag you know what i'm saying and pulled it out so it was so it was very riveting you know what i mean um so let's talk about the story in its entirety if we can um, this started out with Light finding the Death Note, all of these, th these things, him meeting, um, Ryuk, then Misa came into the picture as a second Kira, um, they dub him as Kira because he found his notebook, he's killing, he's, ki he's killing criminals, but as I said, anytime you have too much power, power corrupts. Too much power corrupts. You can have power, but it needs to be controlled. It's need. It needs to be um, watched. You get what I'm saying? It needs to be somebody has to watch over that power because if you are a power that's unchecked, you always go overbound. You always go out of control. You always go out of control. Yes, he believes that he was doing the right thing. He believes that he was doing. Um, the world a favor you get what i'm saying building the new world and all of this other stuff he honestly believed that he was making the world a better place and in some ways yes he was if we're going to look at this objectively and not subjectively yes he was making the world a better place by eliminating criminals and the, st the statistics prove that he was making the world a better place right um so Throughout the story and him now going up against this detective that I've told you guys multiple times that L reminds me of Sherlock Holmes. The, 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 the things that he does, his mannerisms and everything from the whole, sh if, if you guys have ever read the Sherlock Holmes novels, you know, it, te it, it basically, you're basically describing L. He's the epitome of who Sherlock Holmes was. Great detective. It's just unfortunate that he died during this series. Not something I wanted to see, but it worked out in the end. And how they wrapped up the series was pretty cool. So, L was his what was Light's adversary, vice versa, right? So I totally understand where 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 um where L was coming from. I wanted him to catch Kira. But it was such a good story and how it was written and how they okie doke each other and how they, you know, throw the other one off. Or when they when they find themselves in a position to 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 uh, to maneuver differently and to say, OK, this and that and whatever, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, at the end of the day, they were like um, counterparts to each other. And 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 even when light joined joined up with the investigation because it was basically forced to you know what i'm saying he came up with some of the most intricate plans that you could ever think of you know what i'm saying um when it comes on to to light and l respectively l trying to capture light light trying to outsmart l and trying to figure out a way how can i kill l without them knowing it was me who killed him right so that's how Misa came into the picture after Misa basically declared her, her love for him, for Light, um, and basically said, whatever Kira wants, Kira will get. Um, I've always admired Kira because, you know, he, he killed, I, I don't remember ex exactly what happened, but I, I think um, it was some someone 
that um that was bothering or doing something to me sir and l and um light ended up killing them and that's why she really admired kira so she was like if light ends up being kira um that's a double bonus you know what i'm saying because the first time she saw light she was in love with him and then finding out that he's kira you know what i'm saying she said it herself so the the writing of this story was brilliant i would love to sit down and just have a cup of coffee and talk with this guy because when you're talking about brilliance that is what you want to that's just what you want to be around. You want to hear what his perspective of the world is. For him to write a story like this, he has to have a particular outlook on the world to actually write a story like this. And you guys got to understand, when you see people like um, George R. R. Martin that wrote um, Game of Thrones um, and the intricacy that goes into the stories and the prophecies that they write and all this other stuff, you know what I'm saying? Um, you talk about um, J.K. Rowling. Um, these people that have created these stories, these fantasies that we engraft ourselves into, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's just amazing. It's just amazing. Like, I would love to talk with these people because you would get an understanding what it, what their views are off the actual world that they live in you know what i'm saying is the fantasy that they're creating just an escape or are they telling you things because i drew so many parallels from game of thrones in real life it's absolutely ridiculous so you know that they have to have some aspects of that for you to relate to inside the story even if it if it's a fantasy we all know you know death note that exists in real life you know what i'm saying but it's a representation of having too much power that's what it is. That's what Death Note is all about. It's a representation of having too much p power that's unchecked. You get what I'm saying? That, you know, and then he's going out of his way to escape. You know what I'm saying? To escape, escape. Even when he's caught, in the end, he's still trying to escape. You know what I'm saying? You know, and the story goes on to the point as I don't want to make this video too long because I'm not trying to do a 30 minute um, review okay so the story goes on and midway through I think it was episode 25 L dies I don't remember if it's 24 or 25 I think, I think it's 25 um, L dies right and it was devastating for me because I'm like I'm rooting for them I, I was rooting for them to beat light because light needs to be checked. His power needs to be checked. He needs to lose the notebook, go to jail, whatever. Whatever the situation is. But it need he needs to, to need it to be checked. But L dies, he outsmarts L and basically left Rem. He used Rem's love for Misa. That's you know Misa's original Shinigami, right? He used Rem's um, love for Misa to um, to kill L, and I, I I can't remember his name. Um, L's guardian, if you want to call him that, right? So it, it was just it, it was just so awesome, and we really still don't know what L's real name is. We still don't know what his real name is. So even that is pretty dope, right? We still don't know what his name is. Because Misa don't remember. Right? I don't remember. I'm tr I'm trying to... I'm trying to remember if it was ever shown. It was never shown. His name was never shown. Rem wrote his name. We never saw his name. Um, so we still don't know what L's real name is. Everybody else... Not even... We don't even know what Nears real name is either the show ended without us knowing his real name um we know what Mello's real name is um so pretty dope man pretty dope series um as i said man as i said i was worried about the second half after l died but i continued watching and it ended in the whole complete thing was a masterpiece in itself a masterpiece of writing a masterpiece of editing um 
animation wise um production wise right um voice acting as i said 10 out of 10 man um the way out the story went on after it took near and mellows um intellect to beat light um so i think that was dope because i was like um you know in like episode 36 i was like that's a that was dumb you, you're not gonna beat light with some simple ass plan as in replacing some some books like i hold light intellect like way up way up here way above you so i do believe like you know because at first i was like worried when you know the guy when they were still at the school that we're training at and they they were like oh we should team up you know what I'm saying? But I said, I was a little worried. I was like, okay, if if these guys are like L and the two of them team up, it's a possibility they could outsmart Light. But then it didn't go down that way. They decided to compete and try to go at it separate from each other. But in the end, they came together to beat him. So that was pretty dope. Um, so as I said, man, this series was awesome. They did a very good job of telling this story. Um... I think you guys are telling me that there are certain things that they left out from the manga. I don't know. I don't remember what it is, but um, hopefully it's not anything like crucial. But I loved, I loved how they ended it. I love the fact that you know he went down. Um, at the end, it wouldn't have been very dramatic if he just went to jail. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like. He deserved to go down in a blaze of glory. Knowing the type of person that Light is, I knew he wasn't just going to be like, okay, take me to jail. You know what I'm saying? I'm a bad person, whatever, whatever. You know, people like that, they go down screaming. You know what I'm saying? And in the end, it's Ryuk that killed him. So that was new. <laughs> I didn't expect that, but he did explain why he's like, listen... Um, it was fun. It was fun. But I told you from the beginning that I'm the one that would write your name in my notebook to kill you. So that's the deal that we're making. So it was pretty cool in the end because, you know what I'm saying? So that, that was pretty nice, man. Um, Misa looked like Misa committed suicide. They didn't show it. But it looks like she jumped off the building. That's what I'm going to say that she jumped. She jumped off the building. Whatever it is, um, I don't know if they if they showed it, but I didn't. Or I looked off screen. I don't know. But you guys can let me know what happened in the manga. What happened in the manga? Did she kill herself? Um, it looked like she did. You know what I mean? Because at this point, it makes sense because in her eyes, she's probably saying, "I have no more reason for living now." You know what I'm saying? They killed. You know, they killed Light. What am I supposed to do? You know what I'm saying? So I do, I understand where she's, where she's coming from, what she's, how she saw things. So as I said, man, um, there's a lot. Th that's just my view on the, in on the entire story from, from start to finish. Um, the Death Note is just a representation of, of having too much power over anything. You know what I'm saying? It can it can drive you nuts. It can drive you to think that you're a god, you know, in Light's case. And people calling him God at the same time. But then again, the whole reason why he got caught is because of the idiot he chose. He, he, because of the idiot he chose. And tell him, don't make, don't do anything reckless unless, you know what I'm saying? But he went and did something that Light didn't tell him to do. And that's what ended up causing them to get caught. So, um, so I'm definitely, definitely looking forward to the next, um, episodes, man. It, w it was pretty cool. What that my next, what the, I'm so used to ending my video saying that. That's why I said that, but I'm looking forward to go on to my, to the next anime. So hopefully you guys look out for that. If you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel, of course. Thank you guys for watching, as always, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Any thoughts on this on this series that you had? If you enjoyed the ride, let me know in the comment section, man. If you like the video, um, if you like my review, 
um, and you know what I had to say about the entire story, which is basically how I view it. How I view it is that you know what I'm saying is the the Death Note is a representation of power and how we use it. You get what I'm saying? If you had that kind of power, how would you use it? Would you kill people just the same? Or would you kill people who just mess with you? How would you use that power? You know, would you try to create a new world just like, you know, would, if you, you know what I'm saying? Would you create a new world just like light? Would you try to do that? You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, light only cared about light. He was an extremely selfish person. And that's, that, that's, that's what it is he was just a very selfish person so thank you guys for tuning in man hope you guys enjoyed my review thank you guys for watching as always it's your boy terror by reacts remember you are terror squad okay remember that subscribe if you're new like the video comment in the comment section let me know what you think of this series the first time you watched it what did you think do you think it was a masterpiece do you think it was a two out of ten whatever just let me know in the comment section and I will see you guys for the next big thing on the channel. It's me, Terabyte Reacts. Peace.